Hi. Hi, everybody. Good to see you. We're at the bar today. Aww. Time to make some cocktails for summer, because I don't know about you, but COVID has made me a big drinker. We're going to make some nice aperitifs today. We're going to start with a classic Italian drink. We're going to, we're going to make some drinks based on Campari. Doesn't it have cockroaches in it? Uh, I think it used to be you made. You told me that, and it, now I've always been really weird it, about it. It used to be made out of crushed up, some sort of crushed up bug, but it's not what? made that way anymore. That's how it originally got well, the red color. Told so me that they, they don't make it that way anymore. But you should have told me that because I've been avoiding these drinks because I thought there was cockroaches in it. So we're going to make some cocktails with Campari. The Campari is kind of a bitter. Um, but that's what's going to give the drink balance. And it doesn't have cockroaches. And so it's going to be kind of bitter, it's going to be sweet, and there's going to be some alcohol. So these are great aperitifs. It's like me, bitter um, and sweet. That's right. So the first thing we're going to make is a Negroni. Okay. Negroni. I we're like Negroni. Negroni. So we're going to have you put some ice in here. Okay. How much? Uh, just, you know, a little bit of ice. So uh, I'd like only three ice cubes. This is not that kind of cocktail. It's, it's kind of... Three ice cubes. So we've got one and a half ounces of Campari. This is like a little Italian aperitif, right? Yes. We've got some sweet vermouth. I've got Dole in here. So we're going to take one and a half ounces of that. Jim is uh, that one there. Gombe. Yeah. One and a half ounces? That's right. Okay, that's close enough. Oh, that's the wine. Okay, that's good. Uh, it's enough. heavy bottle. Okay. So you're gonna stir that up. That's good. Just stir mm. it. it smells good. I want to smell it. I'm gonna take this out and then you can put the little strainer on here and pour it in your cocktail glass. Mm. In the meantime, I'm gonna make shaken, not stirred. Not stirred, not shaken. It's a stirred drink. That's our drink. And then I've cut a little uh, lemon rind here, lemon peel, and I'm going to take the pith off. Take and the pith. in case I mess this one up, I got, because that's pretty good. Then when they ask for a twist, you can kind of squeeze this, and you're going to get a little oil that kind of comes out of the orange rind. You're going to drop that in there, and there you go. There's your classic Negroni. Mm -hmm. Yummy, yummy. Cheers. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to trade side. Good. Strong. Yeah. That's the idea. Yeah. That's almost like the Juberita. Like, don't go anywhere after you've had You, you could put a little those. sparkling in it if you wanted to. I'm going to trade sides with that. What are we doing now? We're making another one. Oh. So <laughs> that is the classic Negroni. So now we're going to do another one. Uh, this what time we doing now? we're going to do a variation, and we're going to do a variation called a Boulevardier. It's a very mm -hmm. similar drink. So I'm going to have you put ice in there again. How many cubes? Just like you did before, and then put three ice cubes in the glass. One and a half ounces of Campari. We're going to take another one and a half ounces of vermouth. I feel like these are like these are like guys. These are, guy, these are guy cocktails. These are like mandrakes. But they're, they're real good. Now we're going to take uh, whiskey in this one. And I'm going to uh, give a plug. This is a uh, whiskey from Missouri called JJ Noicom. Um, this is uh, a whiskey that was given to me by my friend Frank Noicom, who is in my Swiss round table. Oh, really? And his family makes this. Oh, nice. Go so ahead, one and a half ounces in that. Swiss guy that makes whiskey, huh? Yep. His family. Nice. Stir that up. Okay, and we're going right. to strain that into this That smells one. strong. It is strong. Are you going to drink all these tonight? Because I'm going to need to get you on the liver transplant list. Right. Okay. And we're going to put another twist in that one. There we go. There's another. That's a good one. So that one is a Boulevardier. And then the last variation that we're going to do. You make it all three of these? Yeah, Who's going to drink all this? Well, one more time. These are all Campari drinks. So this time we are going to do uh, one and a half of Campari again. Um, we're What's gonna, this one called? Well, this one doesn't really have a name, but this is going to, we're going to call it, it a tequila Negroni. 
Uh, this time we're going to use this stuff called a verna. Um, sometimes I use this verna. with the scotch one. You're going to have to show people. It's gonna, I don't even know what that is. It's going to add a little bit more sweetness to it. I'm going to put about point one and a half ounces. But this is another kind of Italian liqueur. I'm going to throw that in there. And this time I'm going to have you put one and a half ounces of this fancy sipping tequila in there. Ooh. You're going to be on your back in no time. I know who's going to be on their back and it's probably not me tonight. We are going to stir that up. And uh, we need three ice cubes in there. And we're about to have a party, I think. I mean, by ourselves. <laughs> so an aperitif, like, are you supposed to drink that before? Like, yeah, this is before, before dinner. dinner. And we're, we're going to put an orange slice in this one. I wouldn't drink these on an empty stomach before dinner. There we go. So there is our tequila Negroni. So we've got the classic Negroni. We've got a Boulevardier. pretty classic Boulevardier. And our kind of uh, riff on the other two are tequila Negroni. And it's kind of got a little bit of flavors from both of these two because it's got tequila. And this uh, Aberna is going to give it a little more depth also. So good stuff. Which one do you want to try first? I'm going to do the tequila Negroni. All right. That's the strongest one. Cheers. Cheers, baby. Enjoy it. Woo! Try this one. This one's good. I don't even want that. Damn, dude. It's like 3 o'clock. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's the strongest <coughs> one. I told you that was the strongest one. You like the one in the middle. It's a good drinks. What do you think? All right. Love you, babe. Love you. Do, do See you tomorrow. Table. <laughs> do your table. Cheers.